Okay guys, I know this is an awkward angle, but uh, hi, it's Lindsay again. And I decided that I'm going to do a spa day, like a quarantine spa day. Uh, just a disclaimer, I've never been to a spa, so I have no experience in this kind of thing. So I think it'll be kind of fun. Um, my gym actually had an Instagram story where it was like how to create your own spa day and had all these ideas so I'm basically just gonna be following that but I uh, well basically I thought it would be awesome to do a workout before I start um, and by the way it's actually after work so it's like around three ish right now and I'm gonna go ahead and get my workout in and I'll be back to in like two hours uh, maybe I'll record a little bit of my workout, see how that goes. That never really works for me though, because I think I look weird, or I just like record one thing and it looks like my whole entire workout was like push ups or something. So we'll see. I'll get back to you on that. But um, yeah, after that, I'll shower and we can go ahead and start. Okay, guys? Okay, see you soon. <laughs> Now we're here and it's time for my smoothie. I have this after every workout session that I have. Um, and let's see, basically, I always get uh, for a half of a frozen banana. These ones are like super skinny for some reason. They're from Whole Foods. I like King Supers because they fatten them up. Probably not as healthy, but more banana, I guess. And then I they're not tools but they are in this case because the scissors are way too far away ow okay then i put in as much berries as i feel like uh like that i don't know this smoothie turns out different every time so there's really like no formula or anything and then i have vegan protein powder chocolate flavored but um i'm not the biggest fan of the chocolate flavor I don't know why I picked this one. So I only put one scoop instead of the two. But I also get a lot of protein throughout the day. So there we go. I need some water. Hold on. Uh, here we go. Let's turn it on. And I hate the sound of this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okie doke. Okay. So I have my smoothie. We'll see how it tastes. Hmm. Average for sure. Not the best, not the worst. Okay, so I put my swimsuit on and then I thought through my plan and I realized I've completely lied to all of you. Because I thought it would just be an easy shower and maybe face mask or something. I was wrong and I'm actually going to be switching it up quite a bit. So first thing is first. They said set the mood. So their suggestions were candles and putting cucumbers in water. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I have a cup of water. And I have some cut up cucumbers. I don't know if this will be very good because I left the peel on, but, I, oh, but I'm pretty sure all of the ones I've seen, uh, you know, in hotel lobbies or whatnot, they also have the peel on. So we're gonna let that soak. I don't know if that's what it's called, marinate. While we do the first couple steps. And then just so you know, I have candles there. Want <laughs> one, two, three, and I'll light those once we start the bath, <laughs> but first, the thing that I forgot, and it's not a part of their stuff, but I figured since I have it at my house, I'll go ahead and do it, uh, we're going to go to the red light sauna first, and I'll probably not spend too long in there just because um, you overheat and that is at about 150 ish degrees. So you don't want to stay in there too long. And then you definitely don't want to take a bath immediately after 
like ever. And so we're gonna maybe do like five or 10 minutes in there. And then we're gonna come up and sit in a bath with Epsom salt lavender stuff with that. Okay, so let's get started. Does that not look like kind of dangerous? Okay, we'll pretend it's not though. I have to blow these ones out. ready cue my dramatic movie bath time entrance okay so I've never really recorded in a bathtub before and it is like a kind of uncomfortable I don't know why I feel like I need bubbly water and all I have is Epsom salt lavender water that's slightly giving me a headache but my dad said that'll go away soon um, because you get used to it but I don't really think I will but uh Let's see if we set the mood correctly. One, this has been marinating now for like 25, 30 minutes. So we're gonna take a sip and see if we like it. <laughs> hmm. Uh. It's okay. So that works. And just in case I didn't like it, I brought a LaCroix orange up. And as a snack, I brought garlic stuffed olives. Okay, so that'll be my snack in the tub. Candle wise, we have this. This is what I'm looking at. I think it's looking pretty good. I feel like I'm in a mountain lodge that is trying to convince itself it's in the tropics because of the plant, but either way, I still really enjoy it. Um, another thing, I believe it says that the cucumbers can double as an eye mask, so I guess I can just stick my fingers. I've never really seen anyone do this other than in movies so I'm a bit confused on if this is a real thing or if they just want me to look stupid but I guess we'll give it a try I'll keep them on for like two minutes max because I need to watch the show I'm watching on the tv that's right there okay <laughs> so low mother of god how do you okay so far uh to keep these on my eyes won't stop like kind of doing that fast blinking. Okay, relax, Lizzie. Ugh. My eyes burn. I have the most sensitive skin in the world, so anything hurts it kind of. Okay, uh, so far this is not great. In order to keep the cucumbers on your eyes, you have to break your neck. Which honestly is not the most pleasant feeling, but, um, okay, I give up. Set to soak in this for like 20 to 30 minutes. Um, I'll probably last 12, so I'll see you then. Okay, out of the shower, completely moisturized. I put this like nose strip on 
it kind of, yeah, you can see that. And now I'm taking my makeup off and then putting witch hazel on my face. I did decide that um, I have a lot of face masks, but I'm going to do this one, uh, ultra hydrating. Okay, so you leave on for 15 minutes and then you rinse with warm water and pat dry. Okay, we are going to do that. When I was in the shower, uh, well, okay, I guess I should go back to what this video was supposed to be about. And, um, like I said, my gym had that how to create your own spa day. Well, after taking a bath, it told you to, um, do a hair mask. And I didn't do a hair mask because my hair is like super good right now. Just doing shampoo and conditioner. So that's what I did. And yeah. Okay. I don't know if you'll be able to see any. Oh no, you can't. Okay, well, you're lost. Okay, here's what just happened. I was laying in bed and I felt myself dripping and apparently this mask melts with the heat of your skin and that's how it becomes like a moisturized mask. It's really cool but then it got in my mouth and I had this really bad taste. I've been chugging LaCroix and it's not making it go away. And then second, while I was trying to fix all my drippings, I took my hair out because I was going to comb it and then I was like, I should wait to do this on camera. Why? Because it's one of the more interesting things I'm doing today. And then all of a sudden our doorbell rang and I was like fixing the drippings and I couldn't go down and get the doorbell. And finally I was like, okay, I need to go get the doorbell because they, you could hear them just talking because I have my window open in my room. And so I went down and these little kids saw my green face and I know in this camera it doesn't look that green but it's like super green. And I look like I'm camouflaging right now because I've, you know. And so that's where I'm at right now. I'm about to wash this off though. So here's my cucumber water at the end. I just really didn't like it. I kind of liked the cucumbers on my eyes until it started burning. I did, I did put salt on the cucumbers, that'd be super stupid, but um, kind of felt like I did. Okay, last step. I know I said there were like no steps after this, but we're gonna moisturize our face. And I'm not. I am 23 and a half. <laughs> Worse. Not the pain, just the uh, color. Okay, anyways, what I was saying is yes, I look young for my age, but I think what throws me off is my dad gave me this really bad trait because we use our eyebrows for everything. So we're like, whoa, how are you? Hi, what? No, you see, okay. But it's like, I feel like my facial express expressions are like my best character trait and my worst. So I don't know if I'd wanna really get rid of them. Okay, here are my wrinkles. You see? Yeah. Anyways, that was my spa day. Um, thanks, Lifetime. If I had to rate your DIY um, spa day, out of 10, of course, I'd do a solid five. So, thanks. <laughs>